Head on over to G2A and enter Kami's Crystal Cave to get some sweet deals on crystals and more. Remember to click on the lowest price and use the promo code KAMIVS to get the best deal. G2A. What's going on everyone, Kami here, and today we're going to be playing some more Magic. Uh, this is during the event where I had access to all the cards and I had a lot of awesome people coming in and giving me the decks that they wanted to try out, and this is one of them. DKing82 in my Twitch chat, he's been in here all day, shout out to DKing, grinding the ads for the bits and grinding the loots, much love. This is the deck that he came up to me with, and I, when I first saw it I was like, meh, but then I was like, okay, this is pretty good. Uh, this deck is built around life gain, with your two win conditions being a Johnny's Pride Mate, and Crested Sunmare, which are ridiculous. So pretty much the idea is every time you gain life, you get a plus one plus one counter on Johnny's Pride Mate, and every time you gain a life, your turn or their turn, that's the words I'm trying to say here, you get a five five white horse joke or creature token, it's insane. Um, Angel of Invention, that's obviously a good bomb, and it has life link, so that's always great. Cast out, stop people, you know. Cast out. Militia Bugler, which can actually grab your, your Angel of Invention. It allows you to look at the top four cards of your library and then grab a creature card that's two uh, power or less. Mentor the Meek allows you whenever a creature comes out, if it's power two or less, then you get to pay an additional mana if you want and you get to draw a card. For Grounds Warden, it's just like a cast out. Cast out. Benelish Marshall, pump your people up. And then Diamond Mare, along with the G along with the Johnny's Welcome and Leon and Vanguard are your main ways you're gonna be gaining life. And then of course you have the Angel Invention. So let's go ahead and jump into the game and see how it goes. Okay. Okay, we'll keep it. We'll say hello to him. Hello! Let's see if he's a black or red. He's blue. Uh, this is gonna be super scary, but we're gonna go for it. White. So every time Diamond Mare says, whenever you cast a spell of your chosen color, which we've chosen white, you gain one life. If he plays something for two blue mana, I don't think he will. So we're a little bit afraid to play our Johnny's Pride Mate. I think we're gonna actually grab or put out our... We'll swing first, we'll see what happens. I think we'll play another We'll play another Johnny's Welcome. I don't think he's gonna want to. He says, nice. I don't know what the hell that means. We're not gonna play our Johnny's Pride Mate. I'm too afraid of a counter. Play Champion of Woods or something. That'll do, that'll do. Holy hell, are you kidding me? Oops, we fucked this up big time. No, we messed this up so bad. Okay, so we should have played the Pride Mate first, but I wanted to get him out, so whatever. We screwed this up. We'll say oops. Yep. Go to combat, get plus one and then gain life. Yep. Dude, we missed out on so much plus, plus counters. We could have honestly, like, killed him next turn he would have been instead of a 5-5 he would be an 8-8 and then we're gonna play fairgrounds warden and look at the power of this deck holy hell dude Would you look at it? uh he i think he literally maybe not been dead this turn but he definitely would have been close to dead walking ballista that'll do it Uh, which one do I guess I play this, but like, it doesn't really matter. He's got three blue mana. He better do this quick. Although like, oh, he can't. He has to block nine damage here. That's a, that's an, that's a what? A 10, 10, 11, 11. That's an 11, 11. That's a 12, 12. This dude would just be dead. That's a 12, 12 that costs two mana. Holy bonkers you dick you dick you just ruined me and right, we still got lethal on him next turn if we just draw mana here he needs to draw a historic spell which an artifact is an historic spell that's an artifact Cass, you're ridiculous please draw mana so i can bring two out or i'll just draw another one Yes, take action. Proc, take action. Go to combat, take action. Go to combat. Yep. This is the deck of procs. 
Yo dog, you like prox? My 2-2 two -two started into a 5-5. Five -five. Here's my question, why didn't he end response? Well, this proc's still gonna go off. You should've done it before we went to combat. Silly goose monster. He could've attention, or uh, he could've been, in theory, whenever you gain life, he could've got brought out and then off the first proc, double blew it up, but I don't think it's worth it. Why wouldn't you attack first? I guess he doesn't want to attack. Damn, dude, if we could've drew a man at like, Mentor of the Meek. I guess we'll play Mentor of the Meek here. Thing's about to go off. Nice, he says. Just just take action. Just take all the actions. And here comes more procs. This game needs to like process these procs quicker. One more one more creature we can bring out, and we're good. If only you could give trample to your little counter guy. Yeah, that'd be nice, huh? Artifacts that you control have hexproof. Well, I don't think that really matters. If we can if we can get another one drop. Like how about a Johnny's Welcome? No, if it's a land though, that's fine. Yeah, we swing in, boys. We swing in. Just give it a few hours. Yup, 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 yup. I'll be real here. It's letting people come in here and they're like, I have no idea what's going on. I don't fully, I've lost track of what's really going on. I just see a bunch of stuff happening. You got it. Boy, do I have a surprise for him. <laughs> it's another one. You know what else I just realized? I have 49 life. Nope, decline. Because I got another one. <laughs> uh, is this when you concede? Come on. Why are you still in it to win it, buddy? So I think he's going to blow up both of our... He's got two 1-1s. One yeah, he can do this in response. I think he will do that here. We'll, he'll blow up the... Nope, he won't. Imagine if we bring out the Angel of Invention. Oh my god, dude. Hello! He's just going to ping me for one damage. Ugh, fast paced games can make your blood pump and that's dangerous for your cardiovascular system. We here at Kami's channel are for safe gaming. The most excited we get is over a 1717 of Johnny's Pride Mate. Please let me draw another mana and please let me cast it and please let all the procs go off to see how much power and toughness I can get this Johnny's Pride Mate have. Please curbs. Okay, that's fine. This is, please. Please let this go off. I can't even count. I don't even know what's happening. Oh my God. A good game, but no, let it happen. No, let it happen. <laughs> Although it came to a very depressing end. That's the power of the deck. It's super sexy. It's super hot. Get it while it's hot. You saw the deck list at the beginning. It's a pretty cheap deck. You can swap out some things like Mentor of the Meek that's like rares and it could be a pretty heavy, uncommon deck. And you really only need the Johnny's Prime Mate and the uh, the one drops and stuff like that. And that's just that's just how the combo starts. Diamond Mares are cheap. Get it. Remember, shout outs to DKing82 for coming up with this deck and sending it to me. Let me know what you think down in the comments below. This one's Nets Hot Fire. This one's very simplistic. This was made by Net Relief. If you ever come around to my stream, you know who the hell Net Relief is. If you don't know who Net Relief is, get, get out of here. It's a very simple deck. It just goes get two Lava Runners, which give you plus one, plus zero. If you have two instants or sorceries in your graveyard, and you also give them haste, four shocks, uh, four lightning strikes, four lightning wizards, and two bane fires. That's your main burns. And then going back up here, you have Soul Skarmage, obviously insane. It's got prowess, which, which means when you cast a sorcery or an instant, you get plus one, plus one for the end of the turn. And any non-combat damage done to a creature is minus one, minus one counters instead of just regular damage, which means if you were to shock something instead of it doing two damage, you actually put two minus one, minus one counters on it. And it can help a lot with dealing with really big creatures. Like, I don't know, that 1919 of Johnny's Pride Mate, it might help you out a little bit there. Double cast, obviously really good because you can just pay four mana and then you could pay, you pretty much get two lightning strikes. Pretty good. Also also really good with Wizard's Lightning, probably the best card you want to be double casting. Uh, Flame of the Kel just helps you recharge your hand once you burn everything trying to burn the opponent. By Shino's Pyromancer, I've heard uh, Net really says he's been seeing this deck a little bit more since M19's come around on Red Deck Wins, and it's just flat out a two mana creature that can hit for two. It's susceptible to Chain Whirlers, but it just flat out deals two damage or to a player or a Planeswalker, which is huge. Planeswalker could be pretty important. Gutter Snipe, my favorite card of the deck. Whenever you cast an instant or sorcery spell, it automatically just deals two damage to your opponent. So you shock someone, let's say you shock the opponent, Deal two damage plus the two damage is gunner snipe. That's four damage. Double cast wizard's lightning. Double cast wizard's lightning. Both give you the two damage from gutter snipe. I don't want to talk about it. And last is Chandra. Chandra's just good. So let's jump into the game and see what we can do. You said you needed two videos. Sorry, hand. <laughs> Calm down, hand. We got gutter snipes and we got lava runners out. We're gonna keep it because we get to draw a card. And the fact that we have gutter snipes, every burn spell we get is just gonna be brutal. And it looks like we're gonna have some time to do stuff. 
because it's going to be a artifact deck. Let's just hope that he or she, Mr. Or Mrs. Lux, doesn't do anything crazy. Lux. Nice. Lux. That was perfect. Running game map. Give me a two drop. Okay, that works too, I guess. We really need to draw some, um, some spells. All right, so we drop a gutter snipe, we drop another gutter snipe, and then we do double wizard's lightning and then they're dead. Well, can't swing anymore unless he hits double land. Oh, that sucks a big old balls, a big old balls. We will swing here though. And depending on what we draw now, we could just go, you know, hopefully if he, if we get like a one mana cost spell, then we can, we can, we can gutter snipe into a spell and then the next turn we can flame a kill. And that's not an instant, that's not an instant or sorcery, so flame a kill is not going to proc the gutter snipe. That's unfortunate that the Jade Light Ranger didn't hit any, any, cre anything but lands. That's always a feels bad man back when I played Green Black Constrictor. I couldn't say anything, but just nice whenever it happened. What do you think about that, Katie? Uh, reveal card, sorry. Yeah, that's good. Ah, uh, cast it out. Cast out. You son of a bee. Ruining my gutter snipe life. I got another one. And you may be like, oh, that guy's pissed. You know, he just took a gutter snipe out and you just threw another one out. But like, you also have to take into account that I don't have two gutter snipes out. Cast out. Now you could say that I'd be pissed because he just casted out both my gutter snipes. You'd be right. The top deck of a century. Oh. Holy hell, dude. Kitty's sitting on my exile pile. Kitty, you're not exiled. You're fine. Cast out. Let's let's hit a let's hit a dual cast into a wizard's lightning. Into a I don't know. Wait, if you dual cast, if you dual cast and dual cast again, do you double the dual cast? And then I think that's what I think that's what Netrelief said he wanted me to hit. The double dual cast. And then you like Wizard's Lightning. I think that works. Please give me two dual casts. Do it for the YouTubes. Nice, nice combo there. How exactly does this work? Enchanted Land has add one man of any color sacrifice to draw a card. Nice, dude. Card draw, let's go. Not Brad, not Brad at all. Too bad I got a gutter snipe. Yeah, he, he returned from my exile pile. Here we go, Soul Scar Mage, not bad. Uh, he's not tapped out. That's fine though, he's not gonna be able to counter this. That's my butt. Little baby, that's my butt. Bum, 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 bum. I, I think this, this, I have literally hit zero instant or sorceries. So this, this, like next turn, if a red source would deal damage to a permanent or player this turn, so I'm gonna be able to do plus one Chandra. If anything, that's gonna be four damage. All this is gonna be plus two. Howdy's favorite card. We're fine. We have a Chandra out. We have a Chandra. We have a double cast. This could get good. Here's the question though. Do we risk it? Do we double cast right? No, we don't. No, we don't. No, we don't. But you never know. If we would have double casted, we would have got nothing. We've got nothing, but we just hit our fourth gutter snipe. Holy guacamole. What sucks though, is we weren't able to get the plus two damage off, but I, I couldn't pass up casting a gutter snipe. You just can't, you yeah. know? life. All right, so this might be kind of sketchy because he's got a lot of mana up. He's about to look at the top five cards, reveal a creature card among them and put them into his hand. He's got to reveal it. So we're going to know what's going to be coming at us. I'm going to guess, a, uh, I don't know, either a big green worm. This deck seems like it likes worms. Maybe a Lyra, maybe a Shalalalai. Whatever you cast a historic spell, return target creature card from converted mana cost three or less to the graveyard to the battlefield. Oh my God. That's GG. No, it's not GG. It might be GG. My, my, that's GG. My Just let it happen. Just let it happen, buddy. Let it happen. There's 14, cast it for five. We get the proc from the gutter snipe on the first Bane fire. Oh, the double cast proc hasn't even gone off yet. There it is. No, we mathed right, right? No, we didn't math right. Ah. <sighs> the math, the math was right. T 
team, the math was right. <laughs> it was right, man. He was at he was at 19 life, 17 life. What life was he at? 16. That should have been double cast, bane fire, bane fire. That's six damage right there, and then 10. That's 16. Am I crazy, or did that not work? Does gutter snipe not proc off the dual double casted bane fire? All right. Well, GG. That'll do. Nah, dude. I call shenanigans. Double cast. That one didn't All count. Right, done. No. Thanks, guys. These are some five. We'll see you later. Oh, so double cast just copies the card. It doesn't cast it again. Okay, fair enough. So the math was kind of right, but it just did. The gutter snipe didn't proc off the the double casted, the the second casted banefire. Where you think you're going, baby? You're going up against master of pwnage. Don't get pwned. Roger the Alger. This is a this is a streamer hitting him hard, hitting him fast. That's all we know, baby. Two preview decks, two preview streamers coming at him. If he's stuck playing a tap land there, he's screwed. Ooh, buddy. He's not gonna be able to. He might be able to blow a spell on here, but I don't know. If we draw a land, we are literally money. Draw a land here, we're money. We're money. He can't beat this. I had the nut hand. I had the nut hand, bro. What are you doing? What are you doing? Nice, he says. What are you doing? The power of the red deck win. Okay, sorry, it's not red deck win. That was the nuts, dude. Literally the nuts. I don't know what else you want from me. Fastest game I've ever had in my whole entire life. I can't think of a better way to end that. Is the deck good? Do I give it a plus one out of a million? Yes, yes I do. All the decks that I played today were good. Some were better than others, but I had a lot of fun today. And I hope everyone that dropped by had fun too. Let me know what you think about the deck down in the comments. Hope you enjoyed it. I'll see you next time. Hey, thanks for watching. I'm not going to be one of those people who asks you to like and subscribe, so I'm not going to ask.